Anytime the question involves geometry, but they don't give you a picture, it's a good idea to draw a picture. You're gonna have scratch paper. Remember, you can ask for more, so uh, use it up. You make take, take advantage of it, right? So we have a circle with center O, so I'm gonna try my best to draw a very bad circle. Uh, and points R and S lie in the circle, and ORS, the angle of ROS is 88 degrees. So it's gonna kind of look like a, a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna purposely draw it shorter because I don't want my brain to think it's 90 degrees because then I might start making assumptions about things that I shouldn't. But there you go, ROS -R -O -R -O is 88 degrees. What is the measure of angle RSO? So RSO means I gotta draw an extra line in here and that's gonna be this angle right here. Now, this question really gets to um, some of the most important ideas that we need for just any sort of hard geometry question, but it kind of did it for us. It, the strategy is two things. Draw radiuses, make triangles. Well, I had to draw radiuses because it kind of made me for the first angle, and then I had to close that set of radiuses into a triangle because that's kind of what the second angle made me do. So it kind of forces me to do it. Now, the reason drawing radiuses and making triangles is so important for circle questions in particular is that radiuses have a very special property, right? They're all the same. Maybe not in my bad drawing circle, but in a real circle, every radius has the exact same measure. And that's how we can solve this question, is this isn't just any triangle, it is an isosceles triangle, right? An isosceles triangle. And so an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides, and they're gonna be opposite two congruent angles. So in this case, the 88 is up here. If these sides are the same, then these angles across from those sides also have to be the same. And we know from the reference chart, from just hopefully memory, there are 180 degrees in a triangle. So let's take care of the 88 first. I'm gonna subtract with the calculator because I'm tired and don't wanna make an arithmetic mistake. That is 92. And then I can divide that by two because there's one, two angles, right? So divide by two and I get 46. So that is both of these angles. And I only need one of them, right? So ROS is one of them. Uh, and, or RSO is one of them, and that's 46. So to me, this is actually a very easy question because it forced you to kind of go that route, the strategy route, drawing radiuses, making triangles. But if the question doesn't just like explicitly tell you to do that, but you've got a circle question and you're stuck, draw radiuses, make triangles, odds are good you're making isosceles triangles, and now we have other angle rules that we can use to kind of move things forward. So just very important to kind of think about those big picture moves, no matter what situation you're given, they're really good ways to get out of a jam in a geometry question.